We're here with Michael Rulo from Palmyra, New Jersey. It's a few miles from the show. Uh, Michael, how's it feel to be here in Philadelphia at the ANA? It's great. This is basically my hometown. I'm less than 10 miles away, right across the river in New Jersey. So it's a skip ride over here every morning. And the show's really been good so far. It seems like walking around the past few days, the floors are really brisk. I mean, even Tuesday and Wednesday, pretty good activity. Are you seeing that over at your uh, island over here, your tables? Yeah, we have an especially large area, a lot of coins, basically priced under $100 each. And we've been very busy. We have eight people working, and I don't think I've seen one of them sit down yet That's in a good the last problem. three days. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to guess your table, being that it has such a diverse array of material, will probably bode well tomorrow, the free day, Saturday. Uh, you get a lot of people coming in who probably don't collect normally or coming in who just collect Lincoln cents, Morgan dollars. That should, I would imagine, uh, look good for you guys, especially because you, you cater to the diverse, uh, diverse market. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of the coins we have are sets and novelty coins, beginning collector coins, low priced. So right. that when you have someone just coming in off the street, especially like the free day, they'll see something that's not going to kill them. It's a, it's a $3 coin or, or a $2 investment. And, you know, they get a good souvenir of a great show. And that's a gateway to the hobby, too, for expanding into other areas yeah, down I'm the road. Yeah, I'm always trying to get the youngsters interested Exactly. Uh, get them off the cell phones and get them onto the <laughs> coins. You know? Hook them on numismatics, right? Yeah. Now, uh, has anything big come into the show that you've bought that's interesting? Or uh, I was surprised. I had a man uh, had an inherited collection, uh-huh. and it was several nice twenty dollars gold pieces in it. Wow, which, that's quite a find. You know, we're all the way in the back of the room, and they usually don't make it back here. Right. Be- before, right. you know, and uh, I was happy to purchase it. So that's awesome. Well, I hope that they're back here soon in, a, uh, in the Northeast because this is truly the concentration of collectors here, it seems like. I mean, well, this is every the place city is great. Where the mint is. But this is the heart of our hobby. This is the birthplace yeah. of American numismatics. Right. So to have it eight, ten blocks from the mint uh, is very mm-hmm. uh, apropos. And you can see that, especially all the natives, right. the native Philadelphians, they all know about the P mint and the mint and coins and silver coins and which coin wheat pennies they know more about coins than anywhere else in the country this is the appropriate so, place to have this uh, is because this is this is the coin capital coin collecting capital of the country right, you right in this area on the bourse floor yeah it's excitement here that you don't see all the time you know right so right. Uh, that's awesome well, Michael, sir, I know you're a busy guy. i got to thank you for well, uh, everything you provided us with comments and insights, and I uh, wish you a great show coming up still. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to it.